Yo, 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 it's Joe from Photos of Phones. Today, we're here to talk about the best free video editing apps for iPhone and Android. Let's get to it. So, you want to edit a YouTube video or stitch together a TikTok, but you don't have Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut? Well, we've got some free alternatives that you can use right on your smartphone, so let's get to it. To show you what these video editing apps can do, I went out yesterday and shot a little B-roll sequence that we're going to edit together on all the different apps to give you a practical sense of what they can do. Oh, hey. Just stringing together that B-roll for us. If you like videos like this, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. We come out with videos just like this one twice a week that I'm sure you'll love. Interested in mobile photography too? Well, we did this same video about photo editing apps, so check it out, it's right up there. So, which apps are we gonna talk about today? Well, the Vita video editing app. We did a full video on that, so check that out up there. We're also gonna talk about the InShot video editing app and Splice video editing app. Why are we talking about these three video editing apps in particular? Well. As far as we're concerned, they do the best job of being as user-friendly and cost-effective as you can ask for. While the Splice video editing app isn't great on Android, we feel that InShot and Vita are good enough to warrant including Android users in this video. So, all of these video editing apps are going to have things like audio control, speed control, effective video splicing, and more. Stay tuned to see what each app does in particular. InShot is going to be your one-stop shop for all of the different social media aspect ratios that you're going to need as a mobile content creator. A big feature to have in a video editing app is a free reverse clip feature and InShots is one of the best. Easily adjust speed and apply some cool filters. The selection of music, stickers, and fonts for titles is pretty impressive. Of all of the apps that we're going to talk about here today, InShot is the only one that gives you multiple export settings, which is cool if you want to export your video in 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second. InShot also has options for photo editing and collage creation, which is pretty cool. All in all, the InShot app is pretty easy to use and the massive selection of stuff that you get with the free app makes it one of the premier video editing apps out there. Whether you're using it on iPhone or Android, it comes highly recommended by Photos with Phones. As previously mentioned, we've already done a full video on the Vita editing app, so if you want a lot more information, go check that out. But 
as far as the gist is concerned. Vita has these awesome templates for all of your different kinds of social media video that you could possibly want to do. It's pretty much like a drag and drop sort of deal. If you're new to video editing, especially video editing on your phone, it's definitely worth checking out. Vita's video trimming is literally the easiest out there. Highly recommended. Literally all you do is go to where you want to start the video, hit the start video here, go to where you want the video to end, hit the end video here. Super easy, no like dragging, trying to get it perfect. Um, it just super intuitive super easy props on that. Vita also comes in clutch with all of their animations and transitions and effects. They're gonna add some super cool looks to your video. If you aren't super familiar with in-camera transitions, it can be an easy way to add engagement to your videos. So check it out. Vita has also partnered with Giphy, so you can add GIFs to your videos if that's something that you're into. One of my biggest qualms with video editing apps is that they don't allow you to increase the volume past what the volume was recorded at. I've run into this issue with Adobe Premiere Rush, which is why it's not included in this video. If you want to see a video about Adobe Premiere Rush though, let me know down there in the comments. Vita, however, does allow you to increase the volume on your clips, which is super cool, so. So, Splice. I did some research on Splice before I did this video, and I was very under the impression that I was going to be able to create passable videos with the free version of the app. However, after trying to edit the bit of B-roll that I captured for us to edit today, I realized that that is definitely, definitely not the case. If you are trying to get a free video editing app that you can do anything with, Splice is not for you. At this point, you may be saying, Joe, if it's not free, why are you including it? Well, I accidentally got like a trial version of the app that I used to create some of our Instagram reels, which I thought were pretty cool. <laughs> While I was using the free version of the app, it was, I would say, better than Vita or InShot. And so I just decided that it's worth like at least talking about the app. Um, and if you want to, like the same version of this video, but for paid apps, let us know down there in the comments and we can 
make it happen. So what can you do on the non-pro version of the Splice video editing app? Well, you can put video clips together, you can trim them, but if you go to add music, even from your own iTunes library, it's going to have like the splice watermark across your video. And if you try to export said video, it's going to force you to upgrade to the pro version of the app. So in short, after all of that rambling, you get nothing, nothing, nothing. I want a hamburger, no a cheeseburger. I want a hot dog, I want a milkshake, I want potatoes. You'll chip. get nothing and like it. That's all we got for you. If you feel like you got value from this video, go ahead and hit the like button down there. It definitely helps photos and friends out a lot because it forces YouTube to show our videos to other people. Go ahead and comment down below which of the three video editing apps that we talked about here today that you're going to be downloading so that you can start editing video. As always, subscribe to Photos with Fans' YouTube channel. We're coming out with twice weekly mobile photography and filmmaking tips, tricks, hacks, reviews, everything that you can think of. Yeah, do it now. Toodles. Bye.